got ourselves a fresh new face areas not really exactly fresh because this is my man chrysler not only is he playing warlock to subjugate demons but now he plays one to hunt them down jareem on the frosty mage with a massive rare frost blur up for areas does go in for shadow to dodge out of the way as jareem got the slows down is gonna go for the frost bomb looking to lock down areas does he get to full streak it out trying to see if he can break out of that icy tomb starting to get some damage back to jareem jareem is taking a lot of damage though got him some images that's gonna be a nice block take it away too many hits where areas is able to easily pressure him as jareem looking for that recovery while inside of the ice block areas will need something in order to Deal with Jareem throwing out some glaives is going to be Polly breaking out of the shit power able to interrupt it right after we have the quick breath and a knock another bomb setting up ready to go does he have the flurries to maximize the bomb damage stun looks like he's not going to be able to steal quite a lot of damage they bump the bomb by 80 percent big orb down locking them down with some lance is going to be an immunity for areas trying to use the mobility to close the gap with Jareem, we'll need as much crack control as possible to lock down the mage. It's going to be a back blink into a sigil of misery, locking him down with a quick fear. Got himself a little bit of that immolation aura. Jareem blinking away, looking to lock down areas with a snow drip, but he's just going to walk out of it. Not going to be entombed in rare frost, but still, oh, massive rare frost. Hold on a second, it's your Nova. Got himself a little bit of health. Lances barely keeping your life. What is this shield you just got? Trying to see if you can close the gap. Frost bomb is going to connect. If this frost bomb goes off, I think it's over. Jareem just trying to see if you can go for another ice block. Aries is going to go for a bit of a backflip, producing some of the damage taken while he has used Vengeful Retreat. Able to survive, though barely. Jareem got himself plenty of healing. A big old shield. Big hunt available for Aries. Massive damage. Jareem had himself there all the time as well. So should be able to reconnect and reposition. Big cleave onto Jareem. Frostballs to follow. Maybe if you can interrupt him. Big eye beam. This is going to be enough though. Lance has got himself a big frozen orb flying in with a blizzard. And Aries, I think, just goes down to the AoE of a frost mage. Barely alive. One health. Metamorphosis around the corner into a prison. But the Lance Pierce is right in the heart. Jareem does take him with yet another slow down onto age winner age winner egg winner jareem has nothing for this and got himself a trinket shadow mode is used but there's just nothing he could do once he builds up the resources right in a big old apocalypse all the damage slamming down on you nothing he could do afterwards now is going to be up next with a big hunt to follow it's full defenses for age winter age winner i might have a hard time with your name i'm just looking at your name trying to figure it out age i guess it's gonna be age is it going to be a blind? This man trying to see if he can get himself the army of the undead rising from the ground. Slow down onto the demon hunter. Letting these pets claw him down. Got him some plenty of range damage with his death goals. In prison around the corners now. Closes that gap. Big sigil down. Doesn't do nearly as much damage as I thought he would. Does pick up a ton of healing though from the soul spawned in from that sigil trinket right after. Look to lock down. Cutting down the demon hunter little by little to bits. Full army of the dead approaching yet again. Got him some death strikes. Barely keeping him alive. AMS you know to deal with some of the chaotic damage of a demon hunter drop it down a sigil able to avoid it darkness down not a lot of health age runner just sees a couple more hits that's gonna be an immunity for a second trick and to follow got himself a massive claim demon hunter needs something but so does the death that could be anyone's game oh the death call at the end no way this guy just got it i can't believe it he just was able to get himself the kill that he needed no interrupt him until the book silence does not have the destroys he needs he needs an ams right now the disintegrate stops the disintegrate for just a second that is a full-on devastation evoker while they are squishy they are a power cannon a glass cannon just through force ams available for h1 could use right now in order to deal with some of the damage does use the ams needs damage needs to either get himself behind the pillar to recover that or needs the most amount of damage is going to get the army of the undead flying its mob got him some deep breath locked down into deep breath for just a second the army itself is stunned up h1 are trying to see if he can get out there maybe do some damage do some pressure the pets themselves should be just enough small got himself plenty of self-healing with a big disintegrate does get locked down onto the frosty spells or blue spells quick sleep but to age to see himself a big go eternity surge massive burst big master buff fire breath looks like it's not enough that's gonna be a gripping hand for the dk need himself a little more damage but smog does catch up with a quick disintegrate around the corner looking to catch up with as many aluminum flames as possible from one death knight though into the next if smog can defeat a second death knight right here he might be in a good spot still got himself a master buff for just a handful of seconds but it does fall off at the last minute try to go for a kick alistair missing it does go for the legendborn too that's gonna be a stun smog has himself a trinket to break out of it 
would disintegrate to slow down the death knight does smog have mobility locked out silence cannot really do much got him some mobility though can get behind the pillar full army of the dead so chase it after him quick road onto alistair he got himself those nasty death calls they're doing so much damage but smog barely able to escape and try to go for as much self healing as he can not a lot of mana available but at least a nullifying shroud should help him immune the next few stuns and the next few hard cc out of the dk got himself big deep breath to follow with a shatter maybe a big setup into magic shell not lasting long at all ibf up for alistair that's going to be smog taking lots of damage wall available very very soon needs a heal right now while behind the pillar he needs to move while healing himself not a lot of mana available that's an army of the undead chasing after him knocking him up for just a second try to see if he can reposition to another side of the arena i think he used the grapple onto him james or uh, jayhawk wizard in order to give himself a little more survivability just to kind of move him and give himself a shield which i'm okay with he doesn't mean he puts jayhawk in a combat or forces him in combat he just moves him to give himself a shield but it looks like it's not enough. Alistair does end up taking him out. Jay needs just a couple more globes to take down Alistair. Drop it down a ring of fire. And the DK wants to see if he can avoid it. Wants to see if he can play it as defensive as the Death Knight before him. The Og winner? Og Odd winner? Or oh, already mess him up, messing up his name. Oh, already messing up his name. Oh, already messing up his name real bad. Gonna be our arcade surge as Alistair got himself a big dome. Wants to stay in this best possible. Getting knocked around, but the dome does help dampen a lot of this burst out of Jayhawk. AMS to follow. Death calls right after. Jayhawk may be in a weird, weird spot right now. Taking lots of big hits. Next interrupt maybe could be huge. You might need to go for an interrupt. Alistair with a stun. Ice buck out for Jay. Does he break it early just to finish off Alistair? Because he does have him really, really close into the execute range. Not quite there. The death, the uh, dampen, the necrotic health does put him outside of that execute window, but doesn't let him recover a lot of health. Not like death nets could really heal that much anyway. Unless you're like a blood death that specifically. Jay, try to see if he can go for that all time play. Maybe he can reposition. Almost got interrupted by the pet. Not quite though. The pet charging out while it is in the uh, transformed abomination form does become that leap does become an interrupt which is going to give him that precognition i think it is i almost want to say premeditation but i know that it's a rogue ability from like classic days or like not literally classic but like tbcu wrath kata somewhere around that era is when the first gotten it or maybe that's classic i'm not even sure that's going to be a lockdown onto Al. He's taking lots of big damage. IBF is available. Silence to lock down Jay just for a second. Blind right after. Is it going to be enough? The Jay is CC'd for just a moment, but Alistair not looking that good. Touch the magic. It doesn't really hit him super, super well. IBF last second does not have much with an arcane blast instantly vaporizing the guy out of the existence with now is going to be second to last left over for the team one. Only rogues left to hold the fort after Nalex and Jay. So it's going to come down to the two rogues competing against one another it's going to be down to dirks and grifka or grifika but i'm going to call it grifka just because that's your name now blaze storm out for nalex as long as he stays on top of jay he might be all right reflect available jay does he have any more defenses polly it's going to be an interrupt reflect actually it's going to be mute that right after it's going to be nalex with every defensive and offensive put together does jay have himself oh big charge to cast jay off guard knockback doesn't stop him. Oh, 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 oh. and nalex does not give jay a way out of here besides inside of a body bag my goodness it looks like does Dirks? No, he. I was going to say, does Dirks give him an opportunity to at least catch up the second wind healer? He does not. Try to go for a disarm onto the rogue. Doesn't quite get to stun right after. Dirks does not want to let Nalex get any kind of recovery or any kind of bleeds on the guy whatsoever. Shield from the mage still holds. Nalex trying to go in for a one more strike. Does not get to. The bleeds are up into Dirks them. If the bleeds are there enough for Grifka to be able to get an opener, unless Dirks AoEs now. Oh, wait, hold on a second, blind. Grifka using the blind really early. This gives Dirks an opportunity. Because he can now trink it. And he can potentially use his own setup. Gouge on the Dirks. Knows this is going to be kind of shot. Does he make a play? Does he react? Or does he just stay in? Big secret technique. Big damage. Cheat death. Brocking. Barely keeping it alive. Cheat death. Last second. Trink it out for the other rogue. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Dirks barely alive. Cloak and Shadows and dodge whatever damage he could. Into a restealth. AoE out of Grifka. Dirks still getting caught out. Does go in for the vanish. Needs to make sure he got himself a reset. Grifka is out in the open. Does he have a bleed on him? He might know he did not bleed the other rogue. Grifka just saving his trinket for later. Trinket is still available for Grifka though, I believe. Unless he messed up. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't have a trinket. Big secret technique. Dirk trying to see if he can be one shot him. Hold on, does Dirk get it right now? Cheat death. Hold on a second. Oh, not even a cheat death. What is this? I can't believe it. He just stole the man's cheat death. Are you kidding me? Oh, that is so unlucky for Grifka. I feel like he otherwise 
If that should death proc, I feel like he would have stood a chance, but the game just denied him one. Age winner, fantastic performance with Dirks finishing it off. I can't believe he got that kill at the end. Are you kidding me? My goodness, let's get ourselves another one going, boys. Uno mas, uno mas.